So let's have a look at today's papers. And we'll start with the Sunday Telegraph, leading on bodyguards for MPs. So the paper reports that private security is being used by MPs due to heightened tensions over the Israel-Hamas conflict. Boot out this bigot is the headline on the front of the Sunday Mirror next to a picture of Lee Anderson. The Conservative MP's been suspended by his party following comments about the Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan. Now, The Observer has a story about the safety of keyless entry cars. It says that the industry ignored warnings more than a decade ago, that the technology risked a surge in vehicle thefts and an increase in vehicle crime with keyless entry has resulted in record prices for car insurance this year. And the Mail on Sunday is reporting that actor René Zellweger will be returning as Bridget Jones for a fourth time. According to the paper, filming begins in London in May. Oh, looking forward to that. Well, there's another film to add to the list there to is watch, a... isn't it? Don't, I can't, I'm getting so much grief now, having not seen Oppenheimer. I'm, I apologise, I will go home this afternoon, I will watch it. Some will say I fairly will so, it. but... <laughs> um, you, were just, you saw this little story in uh, The Mirror, didn't you, just to finish off with the paper? Yes. How much would you pay for Ed Sheeran's old socks and pants? Well... No, uh, there's a question. I mean, a charity <laughs> shop is hoping that it's going to give them a boost. He's donated loads of old stuff, including bracelets, baseball caps and so on, old socks, pants, and it's for the East Anglia pants. Children's Hospices <laughs> charity. Um, they've already raised nearly £30,000 selling uh -huh. his old stuff on eBay, which is quite remarkable. I mean, it's all yeah. going to a good cause. The shop in... In, uh, where is it? in Beckles in Suffolk opens on March the 7th and the manager said Ed's donations are definitely going to cause a stir on our first day. I think they've already caused a stir. Uh, yes, I think they have. I mean, I'm hoping that they're not the pants that he's worn every day for the last, you know, 10 years, that they are sort of box fresh and just... I think so. Maybe um, he bought them, changed his mind. Just a hint, of, a hint of Ed. He's, he's picked the box and he's passed them on. But I think, I think with this, I mean, you always think with musicians, it must be the most demoralising thing when they see their old albums and singles for 50p in a, in a second-hand shop. Yeah. At least with this, it's stuff that he knows, you know, it's going to go... People are going to wear his baseball caps, get used out I, of I think it's a debate that needs to be had. How much would you pay for Ed Sheeran's underwear?